Hello and welcome back friends welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's biology and in this video we are going to talk about tricks and mnemonics to remember 12 separate cranial nerves and we'll also talk about the type of those nerves whether they are sensory or motor or both so let's talk about it so to understand cranial nerve and tricks with mnemonics you just need to know only one simple thing and what is it it's nothing but a velvet you know yeah it's a velvet so we all love velvet. If you love velvet, this is just for you. So, to understand 12 separate cranial nerves, actually you need to know this particular sentence. It's about your love and passion for velvets. Oh, 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 to touch and feel a velvet gives a very amazing happiness. This is what you need to remember is just a sheer feeling of touching a velvet and which is really, really something good. So once you see that in all this whole sentence, we have this single letters in all sentence with red color. So that single letters dictates each individual cranial nerves. So this is the first sentence that you need to know, which will give you the idea of the total number of nerves. And the second sentence is going to give you an idea regarding the type of those nerves. For example, in this case, you say, some says money matters, but my brother says big brains matter more okay so if you read the first sentence it's going to give you the name of all the cranial nerves and the second sentence with s means sensory m means motor and b means both in the type of their properties so let's begin with it and if you start with uh, this first o there are three consecutive o out there so the first o olfactory the second o optic the third o oc oculomotor the first T, trochlea, then the second T, trigeminal, then the A, abducens, then the F, facial, then V, vestibulocochlear, then the G, glossopharyngeal, then the V, vagus, then again A, spinal accessory, uh, we write it as A because keeping accessory in our mind and the 12th hypoglossal so it's ranging from the name 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 and considering all these numbers we also have the second sentence some says money matters but my brother says big brains matter more again you can see the first letter of all of them there will be 12 separate letters and all this letter dictates whether the the, the consecutive uh, cranial nerve we are talking about whether it is sensory, it's motor or both. For example, the first one olfactory is S means sensory. Then optic is also sensory. Then the third one oculomotor is motor, right? The first T trochlea is also motor. And then the first A, uh, uh, the, 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 the second T in this case is trigeminal is both. So this is how it will continue. For example, the last one, hypoglossal is also motor. So this is how you need to remember. You need to just write these two sentences down side by side. And that's the way you can connect the things. So again, for simplicity, oh, 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 to touch and feel a velvet gives a very amazing happiness. And some says money matters, but my brother says big brain matter more. If you know these two sentences as a story, you can easily remember 12 cranial nerves and that will be great. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that. Thank you.